everyone, and welcome to the Centurion Leadership Battalion podcast, your source of accountability, inspiration, and motivation to become your best and reach your fullest potential every day. Our motto, it's simple, to use our determination to crush our everyday leadership tasks so that we dominate in our delivery of services and products to our clients and achieve victory in personal growth, profitability, and creating environments for those around us to prosper. Let's get this show started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Monday with us for another core value exploration. Again, we're still uh, looking at core value number one, which is... um, go the extra mile mediocrity is boring if you go back to the previous podcast of the month you'll know we talked a lot about mediocrity uh breaking the chains of mediocrity um what does that mean and why is it important and so this is the second part of this for the month of january um i know it's there's the books that we've we've talked about reading what does that look like in terms of the health of the plan and the book that was assigned this month so You can look at the episode notes if you want to see what that book was, but it's the similar idea is how do we use our own health to go the extra mile for the planet? So I recommend that everyone read up on it. I really think Elena, um, she's recording all these uh, for next month, and she'll be taking a lot more um, mic time um, to help out with the demand and a lot of the questions that we're getting and the response to sort of some of these sub-series, and we haven't even recorded um, the uh, Friday night movie or um, movie with family or Monday night movie. I don't remember what we called it, but um, a movie with family, whatever that was. I believe it was Friday night movie because that's when you would probably watch a movie with a family. But anyway, what I'm trying to get everyone here today for um, on today is the real part of about what it does it mean to go the extra mile. And again, I repeat myself a lot on this a lot. You have to be able to do the first core value if you're going to be able to do any of the other 11. It's like the first step. You need to be able to do this to 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 fight mediocrity in your life and you need to be going the extra mile. So it's not only striving to be great, but let's fight mediocrity and let's go all the way while we're doing it if we're going to do it. So, <clears throat> you know, I just have a few notes. I hope not to go on a long time on this one. Um, but what does going the extra mile fight? Okay. Um, it fights small mindedness. And I would say that right now you can see in the cultures we live in and the way the world is looking at things and the way we're sort of vaccinating everyone yet not treating the sick in some ways. Um, it's not exactly the smartest way of doing things. So, you know, is that going the extra mile? No, the extra the mile would be able to take care of the unvaccinated, the vaccinated, treat those who are poor, uh, look at preemptive medicine so we can prevent ever getting it into the hospitals. Vaccine is great. Yes, it's preventative, but we're having to get booster shots, so we're not there. So going the extra mile, how do we match science and Western medicine and Eastern medicine and we fight this thing really um, the human way? And so that would be an example. Everyone can argue with me any other way. That's just an an example to get your emotions sort of uh, wound up at this point just to have a conversation. So um, here's the problem with when, when you go the extra mile. You stand out. You start to do something different. You don't fit in the crowd. So people push back. People don't like it when you don't when you outgrow them or you start making more money than them because jealousy is really that thing. Everyone's like, oh, I'll never leave my friends behind. Like it's a loyalty thing. It just means that you're you're not going to ever go the extra mile and you're giving up your dreams and your hopes because of someone else holding you down. So, you know, I would say you never know how strong you are until you have no choice, okay? And when you push yourself and you keep pushing yourself to the extra mile – you at some point know you have no choice but to keep going. You've come this far. What choice are you going to have? And I think that's important about going the extra mile. You know, I think that there's a lot of poor living in the world, and we people live paycheck to paycheck because we settle. What more can we do? And I'm not. I know people work two jobs to raise kids and all that, and three jobs. 
I'm not talking about that. That's obviously going the extra mile. But what I am saying is how do we fight that? How do we gain more? How do we use our time and do more when we can while we have time? Um, What is it that we're wasting time doing that we could be doing more and going the extra mile for ourselves? Um, You know, I think a lot of people find angry and discomfort when they settle for normalcy. And it's very hard if you don't fight it and you don't fight it by going the extra mile all the time or trying to impress people or trying to do a better job or trying to be a better human or trying to be better this time I meet someone than the last time. And, um, you know, the reality is this. What it helps you realize is where I am now is not where I have to be, nor where I can be. And where I am now is, isn't where I, wa- I have been or where I was. Um, if I'm actually taking steps to go the extra mile every day, little tasks. I'm not talking about anything huge. I'm talking about just starting. You know, we talked about building effective habits this month. That's like starting to go the extra mile. Um, and in that you get financial independence and financial success because you start breaking the chains of mediocrity, which makes you stick out. You know, you start working with other people that are also going the extra mile because you start shedding friends that do not matter. Like it's so important. And we're probably going to talk about this a million times, but I got to tell you, like, it's so much better to have friends that you eventually find that have the same goals as you do and live by the same drive that you do in terms of being an entrepreneur or a leader in this case and know that you're in a pursuit to find them, that the friends you have now, why they have ambitions and goals, most, if you're a true leader and a true entrepreneur, is few and far between. You are a special group. It's just the way it is because everyone settles at some point and most people get comfortable at some point. (coughs) So settling and comfortability is mediocrity. It's the other part of this core value. But what do I want to do? I want to be more valuable as a human. That's going the extra mile. How do I drive more value for myself? How do I drive more value for the company I work for, my community, my children, my family, my legacy? That's always how we go the extra mile. You know, everyone's always waiting for a miracle. We are the miracle. We do not have to wait for the miracle. We get to start it every day. And there are bits and pieces of my life that if anyone looked on the outside, they'd be like, oh, my God, a miracle bestowed upon him. No, it took years of work. And some things, yes, there is an intervention and higher power, and I can't explain it. But most of it has been me working my entire life towards my goals and my dreams and not letting up and not letting relationships get in my way if they they were in my way. And it's unfortunate that I say this, but we stick in relationships too long when they're hurting us. I've done it. It's not good. I don't care how much it is. If you have something to give to the world, you only get one chance to get it. Give it. And again, I've been around death and farms and even humans and long-term care homes and a lot of people that I've lost whose number one regret is they didn't do more for humanity and for life and for the people around them while they were alive. They didn't do more. They weren't a better entrepreneur. They didn't make more money. They didn't make a better impact. There's regrets. But keeping your side of the street clean means going the extra. Knowing you're always doing more than you could have any chance you get. And I'm not talking burn yourself out. I'm not talking have mental problems. I'm talking go the extra mile and impress people. And you can be very efficient and effective in doing it. You don't need a lot of tasks. You don't need a lot of things to do it or go the extra mile. You just need to find a way to do it. Um, If you're worried about things holding you back, I need resources. I can't do it if I I can't go the extra mile or I can't make the leap because I don't have enough money or I'm not good looking enough. No one's ever had the resources. I've never been a good speaker. Maybe people would argue that I'm still not one who listened to the podcast. So, you know, it's something I've had to work at. You know, again, be the miracle means I've got to put in the work for a long time to make a huge change. So it's where do I want to be and what do I have to do to get there? What are the small tasks along the way? And I really want you to think is how many other people like me who have had way more limited resources have had way more success than me. Just saying. 
You need to be resourceful with what you have, with the podcasts you have, with the books that you can read that are free. It's limited, but it's free. And limitation is only in your mind. You can uncap your potential. You can uncap your creativity. You can uncap your ability to learn. That's going the extra mile. You can crush life when you understand that you actually have unlimited resources at your fingertips between podcasts, Instagrams like mine that make you think at Justin Bizarro, like look at it. It helps you think other people's Instagram that are doing positivity for the world. They are very good things. So I'm going to say this because I think it's actually why this one really matters. And then we'll get into other things. But if the human species or homo sapiens are going to survive or whatever evolving form of ourselves is going to survive if we don't get the extra mile and we don't continue to push ourselves to be better to be better to our planet to be better humans to be better understanding of one another we do not stand a chance If we do not go the extra mile in this way and do more in these things or in our life or how we are as humans than our other generations, like we've got to start thinking globally. And I know we need to protect borders in our countries, but at some point, there's got to be someone who's going to step up and lead on a world level that's like we are all humans. We have to figure this out. Probably not in my lifetime. I'm hoping maybe someone will listen to this and it'll, as a young kid, and it'll inspire something of the sort. Because we can farm and eat an industry around that, our way to healthier humans and a healthier planet, and actually save this world and use it doing more diverse food and eating more diverse uh, plants and animals and realizing that in danger or not we need to get the populations up and we can get the populations up even more if we look at it in a different way maybe it is food maybe it's not maybe it's medicine i don't know but we have to start thinking realistically about the consumption that we want as humans and consumerism and not wasting the life of the animals how do we utilize a whole animal for existence or a whole plant what can we do better I think it's important that we do that, especially as the human race um, or homo sapiens are increasing in numbers always every day. So we are the key to the solution. And what we think is we're always waiting for the government or some brilliant person to solve it for us. But the reality is it's always inside each one of us. It's inside of each one of us. That means each one of us have the chance to make a difference to change our lifestyle, to influence the people around us, to lead by example, like another core value in the way that we eat, the way that we manage our food, the way that we, we share as other kids come into our homes, the way we eat. It's all good. We make it good, but it's just diversify. It could be fun to eat alligator meatballs. I'm just saying, or bison burgers. Not so far off the trail right now. But it is important that we look at it, and it isn't just – for our planets, for minerals and nutrients and fighting things like we don't even know because we're not eating those animals. What possibility could they bring to us? We don't know yet. We should eat them and find out. Just saying. We can unlock our potential in our minds. We can also unlock the potential of our bodies through the things that we eat. They're here for us naturally. We don't need to circumvent it only through science. We can use science to discover what they are. I'm not saying science can't boost things or whatever and can't find solutions, but I'm just saying science can help us find things in nature or animals in nature that we should be working with to better our situation. And maybe it would help some other homo sapiens out there that need it for medical purposes or religious purposes. I don't know. And so I find it interesting that amongst all of it, Amongst going the extra mile, amongst whatever, most people do not do it. Most people settle for mediocrity and not pushing themselves with the extra mile because they believe that they can never achieve greatness. And so what is greatness? Honestly, it's having a purpose as an individual. And so how do we achieve excellence and greatness over a lifetime? 
we model what we want over a lifetime. So if it's a better planet, we should probably start making that our lifestyle. If we really care about our children, then we should model that. Just saying, these are the things that mean something to me, so I'm using them as argumentative points or as pivot points. You may have something else. You could probably argue with me this. Great. But what I'm not arguing with you on is how do you use the same thing that I'm talking about or something you're passionate about or you believe in or you see in as a pivot point to do exactly what I'm doing. Be passionate and make a difference. Okay? Because I see a lot of politics right now. I see a lot of manipulation in the press and stories and exaggerations. That's all trying to get us to be normal, guys, or be mediocre or just settle for whatever or get to see an extreme point of view for their purpose or for that purpose. So the extra mile is being able to think on our own, ask ourselves questions, and honestly answer in our own voice and argue the point from both sides in our own voice, not someone else's voice that's been put there. And so when I say that, that voice is usually a product of the people around us. So if I go back to it, I surround myself by positive people, entrepreneurs, I've got entrepreneurs, I've got positivity, I've got growth, and I've got way more compounding wealth in my life because they're also educating me as much as I'm educating them. And we're influencing each other. But if I don't and I'm around people who hold me down and are small-minded or are after it for power or money only, um, that small-mindedness can make you small-minded. So... How do they make you believe it? They make you scared of making mistakes. Failure is scary. Don't ever do it. Don't ever trust that. That never worked for me. Why would you want to do this? The government will give you the money. It's so much easier if we just give it to you. Why do you want to work? I mean, all those things are to make you mediocre because mediocre means what? You're not going to voice up. You're whatever. I'm not saying they do it on purpose. Whatever, I'm just saying it's the result of the action. I don't know what anyone's intent is. I believe it's all good to help everyone. I'm just worried about the result. So I don't think people are evil and one party's evil or another party's not. I think everyone's coming from good intentions. I just think we need to really analyze the results as a group. And maybe we disagree on those results and maybe that's just the way it is. But I do agree with Voltaire you know, that I can disagree with you, but I will fight to the death for you to have your opinion heard or for you to be able to say what it is. Even though I may disagree with it, you should have the freedom to do it. And I will fight by your side to have the freedom to do it in every sense. You know, so that's Voltaire and I agree with it and I will hopefully remember to put it in the notes here. Um, I'm sorry for the pause. I just was thinking, um, you know, it's we often want praise, 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 but we need to see criticism if we want to go the extra mile. It helps us improve. We need to make mistakes. We need to face um, embarrassment. Um, we need to bring, let failure happen so we have humility. And the more we, f- the you know, as Seth Godin would say to throw something else out there just in my notes, If I fail more than you, I win, Seth Godin. So true. And repetition is tedious and boring, but repetition over a long period of time leads to happiness because it improves your life. And when the people young in age, for all the young entrepreneurs or leaders that listen in the podcast, repetition at a young age and not going out and keeping that repetition and building your life and your value throughout your 20s while everyone else is out at bars or trying to make out with girls or sleep with each other, be cool. Um, The coolest person is the person that gets in their 30s and 40s and has money or has wealth or has a business that their wealth is tied up in that has built something. Maybe they don't have any wealth. There's a lot of people that build really successful businesses that keep pouring it back into their businesses and keep building them well into their 40s. It's just what people do. They want to compound it as much as possible until they get old and then they want to enjoy it. If they ever want to enjoy it, then they're like, oh, maybe the kids will keep compounding it. 
It's very possible. Successful people do funny things. Successful people handle money sometimes in funny ways. And they don't always flaunt it. And they are always trying to build something. The really successful people reinvest in their people. Reinvest in their businesses. They want to see their people grow. They know when their people grow that their businesses continue to grow. So it's hard to always enjoy it when you know you got to reinvest it. So that's going the extra mile also as a leader. Because, again, I don't know who said it, but leaders eat last. It's going the extra mile. I put everyone else before me. That's what that means. I work for everyone else. You know, some of the team members at Food Service Partners might hear this or Better With Bacon Fat or Grown Strong or Primal Rock and be like, oh, you heard you. I, you work for me. And it's not what I mean. What I mean is I'm here to function as a person and a collaborator and to make sure there's communication and collaboration for profitability, to put it simply. So I have to orchestrate it, but a lot means that I have to make sure and I hear problems and excuses and I deal with it like I'm working with someone and servicing them so everyone can function and play nice. It also means that if there's bad things happen, you know, a fight or whatever, they're usually going to, it's why fight with someone. At the end of the day, somewhere along the line, if you're really means that much to you, I will tell you what it means. You can come fight me or argue with me or whatever. That's going the extra mile. I will stick by my words so much so that if it's such a big problem, I will say it to them. I will back up my person. There's nothing wrong with that. Back up your people. That's going the extra mile. In this world, no one really has anyone's back. Whether it's when it's time for jail, whether it's time for whatever, you know, street code, G code, no one has that anymore. So if you can display it, even though people aren't displaying it around you, you are going the extra mile. So I'm happy when things are difficult in my life. It means I'm going to have to go the extra mile to get through them. The harder they are, the harder I got to dig, the more I've got to push so no one else sees it. Um, Or so the more I got to push so someone else sees it if there's other people trying to do it to stick out, to be better, to get noticed. Sorry, I misspoke there. But I really think, guys, it's time to just really do more and do better and be more to your family and be more to your community and be more to your job and be more to the people around you. Go the extra mile. Stop being mediocre. Be the person you wish you were. Go out and do it. Start it now. It's not going to happen overnight. And become a great person that people are going to know long after you're gone. And your family's going to talk about for generations. You have the choice to do it. Thank you, everyone, for listening in. Pay the dues, as some podcasters would say, or the fees. Please share it. If you're getting anything out of it, please write a review. Five stars. We need more reviews. Um, Thank you, everyone, for listening in around the world. I saw we're starting to get downloads in, like, Nigeria, um, Isle of Man, United Kingdom, uh, Ireland. Um, Sorry, by United Kingdom, I meant England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, the major United Kingdom. Um, Not all the Commonwealth. And um, as well as um, Brazil, Argentina, Argentina. Vietnam, Philippines, so we're seeing it all around the world, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, um, to name a few. So, you know, just in the feud, entrepreneurs is heard in over 100 countries now. So Centurion Battalion, I'm hoping to get into 100 countries, but um, we're dwindling around the mid-20s right now. So it's getting more and more, and the downloads are growing. So I thank you guys, but um, I can't do it without you guys. So thank you for the love. I love you guys. Um, Be healthy and stay strong. 